The anime writers be like, everybody gets a special Pokemon. You get a legendary, you get to take care of a legendary. You get an ultra beast, you get to take care of a mythical Pokemon. You get a mythical, and you get to take care of a mythical Pokemon. Maybe. We just handed them out. <laughs> uh, Sun and Moon is wild, bro. But I love this so much. What's going on guys, I'm Anstey Maze, and recently, a brand new episode for the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime aired on TV. Episode 112, Discovering a New Species, Get Melton, which it was a fun time watching the episode. So because of that, I've decided for today's video that I will review this latest episode. Hopefully you get to yourself to check out the episode too, if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments down below for today's question of the day though, what you personally thought of this episode. I'd love to hear. With that intro for this video now said though, let's jump right into this review. So the episode begins off with Ash and his alone and family receiving a call from Professor Rogue, who reveals that Melton is indeed a new species and a steel type, much like Ash and his classmates theorized in the last episode. Not only that though, but Professor Rogue finally calls this new species, Melton, which we as an audience already knew, but of course our characters did not. After the call ends though, and after Ash shoves Rattler into Ash's bag, which I found hilarious, Ash and Professor Kakui make their way to the Pokemon school, which today's lesson is focusing on the students battling each other, which this got me very excited. But once Ash leaves Riley in the classroom within his bag, Melton for the previous episode, who stayed living in the bag for a day, comes out the bag. Which made me then realise, oh yeah, we ain't gonna watch battles are we? <laughs> uh, don't worry though, we will definitely have time to watch some battles before the Alola League. Guzma being one of them! But getting back on track with this episode again, Melton tries to wake up our lazy bird in a very adorable way but every attempt seems to fail, until a Mokro swings by and picks up Melton due to its shiny body, in that classic cliche way, which rather had to save this Pokemon, successfully doing so, but losing its nut, which Team Rocky actually came across it in a comedic way, that being me of asking for a nut to fall from the sky, which Team Rocket then used this nut for their conveniently broken van, which they then drive towards the cinema to try and sell donuts but ultimately fail due to everybody still watching the movie inside. While meanwhile, Rowlet tries to find a new part for Melton's head, even providing those hilarious reactions. But Melton did not seem to like any of these new additions, then providing those more adorable scenes. Like seriously, I never thought in a million years that I'd find this piece of metal cute. <laughs> But anyway, because of this, Rowlet then decides it will try and find a new nut for Melton, but ultimately gets distracted by Team Rocket's donuts. But before we focus on that scene between Melton and Team Rocket, Ash after his battle lesson gets asked by Kyori what he will do now, now that he has finally completed each grand trial, which Ash looks puzzled by. And this really confused me, as many episodes ago, both him and Kyori after Kikui announced the Alola League to both of them, they decided they both wanted to compete. Did they just forget that even happened? <laughs> it's so weird to me. But uh, regardless of that, after Ash witnesses Rowlet flying towards the city, he decides to follow it. So back at Melton and Rowlet, Melton finds his nut again, but Team Rocket who wanted revenge on Melton from the previous episode, decided to catch and attack on Melton. But our boy Rowlet, who wanted nothing of this, protects our Melton. Which every scene we got to see of this, especially the climax which was Rowlet taking on so many scratch attacks from Meowth, was just astounding. I love the bond these two Pokemon have. It's so heartwarming. In fact, it gets better when Melton sees how much damage it takes on for it, and just flash cannons all of Team Rocket in the face. Which was a beautiful scene due to that surprisingly immense power. While Beware and Stuffle then take Team Rocket back home. 
Stoffel Fink is driving the fun, which was a uh, very amusing scene. Oh boy, Ash, after all of this, though, then finally arrives to the scene and takes both Rala and Melton back to the Pokemon school, who he was excited to see this Pokemon once again and even starts to question what on earth happened to Rowlet due to it being hurt. The episode then ended off at the Pokemon School, with Clefable revealing its strength in melting like puppies, who's been living in it with the Ultra Guardian base causing trouble beforehand in both the previous episode and this one, with our Melton then revealing that it doesn't want to be with its other Melton friends no more, but rather, Rowlet. Which Ash then asks Melton if it wants to be caught to always be with Rowlet. Which after a nod from Rowlet, Melton accepts. And Ash does not catch this Pokemon, the Pokeball coming right through its nut, which surprisingly made me laugh pretty hard. That being the overall ending scene. Nah, I'm kidding. After that fail, Ash then successfully catches Melton, marking this his first ever mythical and steel type Pokemon, which is incredibly cool. Hey! With that story now said though, let's now move on to my overall thoughts regarding this episode. If you're going to tell from some of my reactions during the storytelling section, I found this episode to be a bundle of fun. More so than the previous episode actually, which of course was the Melton introduction episode. How it performed better overall though, was simply because this episode improved with its plot, character interactions and humour. In my eyes at least. But that is no surprise to me either, seeming as we did need an episode to establish how Melton lives and how it's an undiscovered Pokemon species until now, which might not be as exciting as a somewhat more plot important episode like this one. Seeming as it was developing a bond between Rowlet and Melton, so Ashvin has the motivation to catch it and use Melton for the remainder of the series. In fact, let's finally start to focus more on that capture. Not only do I adore the fact that Ash has finally caught a mythical and still type Pokemon, much like I said in the storytelling section, but the anime actually made me fall in love with the Melton species, despite myself not thinking much of the Pokemon at first, so I'm glad we can see Melton on a regular basis now, nor to forget that it was fulfilling to see Ash have a fifth Pokemon on hand once again, as the Alola League is of course right around the corner, which Ash should really have a full team for, and to be honest, Finally, I also have a feeling that unlike Ash's unreleased Poipole, that this Pokemon is going to do so much more. In regards to battles that is, seeming as this episode established its power in a neat way. It, in my eyes, not going to have just one battle, like Poipole did. Which, everything I have said combined here, just leaves an overall satisfying feeling, hence why I like this capture so much. Actually? You know what? What really tops it up the most though, is the fact we didn't get another Ash catching Eevee situation. The Ash catching Melton Fury being correct. <laughs> uh, nah, I'm joking. Well, actually, it, it was satisfying to know that all theories were right, but I still had a feeling at the back of my head that we might have looked far too much into it, much like Eevee. Hence why I didn't even release so many videos on that theory, much like I did for Eevee back in the day. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't even be prepared to see how the fandom would have reacted if Ash didn't catch Melton as well. As again, I know many people were hanging onto the theory, and many people even wanted Ash to capture this Pokemon. Though, I know for a fact, there will be a small bunch of people out there who will be disappointed by this capture. They would have wanted Ash to catch another alone Pokemon. Not this mythical Pokemon who in their eyes is not powerful, judging by the games, and has a mad design. Which I can understand by those factors alone, don't worry, everyone is entitled to their own opinions. But for me personally, as you can clearly tell, I am loving this capture and even Melton's character so far. Though, but is it to say how the capture built up was perfect? As one thing I would improve regarding the capture element is actually make Ash and Melton interact more in this episode. Myself wanted them to form a bond beforehand, so it just doesn't feel like Ash only captured this Pokemon just because Rowlet became friends with it, but also because he saw potential in it. It's one gripe I also had with Ash capturing Poipole. In fact, this entire episode kind of screamed a similar vibe to the Poipole capture episode. But anyway, I mean, obviously Ash might have saw potential in Melton for his team, he just chose not to state it in the episode. 
And Ash and Poipo did actually grow a close bond after a couple of episodes, which was quite endearing to watch. So obviously they were happy for Ash and Melton as well. But still, Ash not interacting much with Melton is a tiny nitpick I have that hasn't quite faded away yet. Though, it doesn't affect the overall episode when coming to rate it. The episode was still simply stunning. But before we focus more on the story of the episode, before the capture, I want to elaborate more on the potential I see with Melton. First of all, I could totally see what KG Prestige and many other fans have been saying recently. And that is that they believe Ash will travel to Gala with Melton due to the connection Melton already supposedly has with the region and due to the region giving off a Melton vibe. This being similar to the likes of Ash's Apom, which is a uh, cool story. Not only that though, but I could also possibly see Melton evolving into Melmetal during the Alola League, as it's bound to evolve at some point so we can see that new form, if Melton does not travel to Gala, which would introduce Melmetal nicely. Or it could evolve in a battle against Team Skull, and whatever they plan to do in the anime, which would be even more satisfying. Though, of course, regardless of whatever happens, Yes, this Pokemon will most likely get released. The anime just can't seem to let Ash keep a special Pokemon. <laughs> Though, I'll be fine with that unlike others. I completely understand the anime writer's intentions. And at the end of the day, if I'm to be honest, I don't care about Ash winning leagues unlike other people, or ending his overall journey, or keeping development, and in this case, Pokemon, I just watch Pokemon for the fun. Speaking of fun, Ash is a lot of team to be honest, has to be the most fun team he's ever had so far due to all the unique choices in Pokemon. It might actually also become one of his most strongest teams as well, if Pokemon such as Torica and Melton are to evolve. Well, uh, obviously not, and Ash is probably not gonna win the league, but still it's quite possibly one of the strongest. And yes, Kalos would still stand on top development and power wise. I love that team so much. But there's a lot of team. Wow, it's really surprised me in a perplexingly amazing way. Poipo is definitely returning, by the way, for the league only, as there's definitely no time left for another capture in this series for Ash. And I'm sure some of you might think it'll be impossible for Poipo to return. However, I could easily see a story when Ultra Wormhole somehow opens up, with Poipo asking for help for something, which Ash will then help it. And then once that story is over, he will then ask Popo to join his team temporarily for the league before returning home. Boom, it's that easy. Though, it would also be kinda dumb, as we've only ever seen Popo battle once. But, eh, it's better than no 6 Pokemon, am I right? Though, I guess all Pokemon is still an option too, which I have an upcoming top 10 for that. Stay tuned. But overall, that's what I really have to say for this capture and team aspect we got on this episode. So, let's now focus on a little bit of the bond between Melton and Rowlet. Wow, I honestly did not expect to adore the bond these two have as much as I currently do. It was so endearing, beating the likes of Rowlet and Nebby by miles. And if I'm to be honest, this episode kinda made me like Rowlet more as a Pokemon. As if you're a regular viewer, it's no surprise to know that Rowlet is my least favourite member of Ash's Alolan team, mostly due to the fact that it did absolutely nothing at all during Season 2, lacking as much development as Lycanroc and Torica, though Lycanroc's character is definitely complete now. But anyway, yeah, just seeing Rowlet not be lazy and show his strong sense of justice was really sweet. I wish I could describe it more, but I just at least finally felt sympathy for maybe going too hard on this bird at times and come to like more aspects of it. Though, don't get me wrong, it's always been cute at least. Kinda glad it wouldn't evolve into the Sidroy actually when thinking more about it, as it would lose that cute charm. And again, like I've said in multiple videos, cuteness sells merch. Oh, perfect time to plug my merch actually. Link in the description, or you can click on an item to the side of this video. I improved the shop. But regardless of that, uh, overall for this bond, it was definitely one sensational aspect we got in the episode. Probably the best actually. Team Rocket themselves was even entertaining. I really like how Meowth was the one actually attacking as well, and it was quite funny too. 
In fact, like I alluded to earlier, mostly in the storytelling section, the comedy in this episode was brilliant. So altogether, I would definitely say that this episode was definitely excellent. I would recommend that you watch this episode if you haven't already. That being all I can really say for this episode now. Well, I will at least mention that we got the worst off model I've seen ever, but that doesn't affect the rest of the animation, which was as decent can be, along with some nice transitions, or the episode story in general. If you have seen this episode though, then once again do let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode though. I love to hear. As for everybody, now finishes off this review. A bit messy, but if you did at least enjoy this video, then please be sure to consider leaving a like, a share, and if you're new here, a subscribe along with it and that bell icon to stay in loop with all things Pokemon anime related. If you want to support this channel any further way, I also have a Patreon. Thank you for watching everybody, this is Entity Mains, signing out.